Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new, you're most certainly welcome. Thank you so much for being here. I'm having a wig sale by the title. You can tell that. Um, I'm selling my wigs, either the ones that I've made or I've bought. And um, the ones that I've made, I have bought the hair and everything, all the products that I need to that I needed to make these wigs. And um, the reason why I'm selling these wigs is because I just have so many wigs and that I just need to uh, sell the ones that I don't normally wear. Okay, so let's start with wig number one. This is a wig that I've made myself. Um, this is a body wave wig, but I put curls in it about two weeks ago and they're still in it. I'm at, if you can see, I'm getting snags. I mean, it's, it's 22 inches long. I paid about $100 for the hair. The hair was originally $200, but I paid about $100 for it, including the closure. Um, I'm selling this wig for one thirty. I made this wig with my, um, I sewed it together. I'm going to show you the inside now. Do not mind the elastic band and what's on it. That is highlighter that fell onto my elastic bands. Um, sorry about that. I couldn't get the rest of it out. But, um, if you don't want this in there, I can take it out if you'd like. Um, the closure is just a middle part. Um, I've only worn this wig about once or twice and each time I've only worn it to the store and that was burnt for like an hour each for each day. Um, this hair is gorgeous. It's in a natural black color. Um, on the in the on the hair instructions that the hair came in, um, it said that you could dye the hair or bleach the hair if you'd like, but I would not suggest that you do that if you do purchase this wig. Um, I can also take out the closure if you don't like it and turn it into a U part wig if you'd like. This hair is about I want to say one sixty to one eighty density because this is a lot of hair. I mean, like, this is a lot of hair, and it's really, it kind of weighs me down at how much, by how much heavy this is, how much hair this is on here. I did use a straight closure for this wig, but right now it's, um, wavy from when I curled it. Again, this is 22 inches long, and it's about 100 and. 60 to 180 percent density and it's a gorgeous unit that I made myself oh I'm sorry um these little yellow pieces in the wig right here if you can see that that is from the bags um I put bags on the mannequin head inside of the cap before I start making my wig for it to mold uh, for it to fit the size of my head um, it just makes it easier for me to mold the bags to my head shape, if that makes any sense, inside of the mannequin head. Again, this is the first wig, and this wig will be on sale right now for a hundred and... Did I say a hundred thirty? A hundred... A hundred thirty, a hundred forty, it doesn't, really doesn't matter. We can, um, discuss that. Well, you'll probably pick a one hundred thirty, but... Yeah. Gorgeous wig. Again, I would not recommend men dyeing this hair. Okay. This wig right here is another wig that I've made. Right now it is my um, favorite wig that I've ever made. Let me see. Okay. It is a curly... Bob, I'm not sure if you can grasp, okay, there it is. This wig is absolutely gorgeous, like, gorgeous, man. 
This hair on this wig is so full and so thick. I got this hair from West Kiss Hair off of their website. Um, you may also know them from AliExpress or Amazon, but I got this off of their website, and I used their Brazilian Curly for this wig, and I made bangs, and it's a cute little curly bob. Um, this is the back, and this is the front. This hair is so beautiful. I mean, you could wear this every day if you'd like. Alright, I'm going to show you the inside of the cap construction. Oh, I forgot to mention that if you'd like to put up, if you do buy the first wig that I showed you, um, if you'd like to put it up in a ponytail, you can. Because um, you can't see the tracks. With this one, I wouldn't suggest that because I didn't do the same, I didn't do the same uh, wig making method with that one. I also did sew this one together. Oh, and um, these wigs, the wigs that I made will probably last you... The first one will probably last you around six months. This one will probably last you about eight eight months to maybe a year, just because the hair quality. I'm selling this wig for one seventy five. I spent uh, I think about eighty dollars for the hair, and just for the um, cap construction, I'm selling it for 175 or 170 This is the wig. The seller did West Kiss did say that you could um dye or bleach this hair or straighten it and it'll come back to its curl pattern, original curl pattern, but again, you're doing that at your own risk. All sales are final. Again, this is the Brazilian Curly Bob wig. And I made this by myself. And I also could take out this elastic band if you don't like it. If you don't want it in there, I could take it out. Okay, now, this wig I did not make. This wig I... This wig is from Uni Wigs. I bought from Uni Wigs. Um, it is a red wig. It is 150% density, but it honestly feels like 180 because it is straightened. But the fact that it's straightened and it still feels like extremely thick. This hair has been in a box for a couple of months, and I'm literally just running my fingers through it. Like, this is some really soft hair. Like, usually when you leave hair in a box, I've never worn this hair out, but usually when you leave hair in a box, it... Um, starts to tangle and really shed, but I'm not getting any strands of hair. I'm not getting nothing. I this hair which originally came in like a rose gold um, color, but I dyed it like this. Mm. On the camera, it's looking like an orange red, but in person, it's like a redwood color. Yeah, but this hair is so beautiful. The roots are black all throughout the wig. And, um, there is parting space. Around, I think this is about four inches of parting space going back. And then one inch on the sides. Um, you get clips in here. Elastic band and then a clip on the back. And, um, I did also sew an elastic band on this wig as well. This wig was originally... I'm going to say around 428. I'm selling this for 250. I'm selling this I'm selling this for 250. And I have not worn this wig at all. It's never been worn before. I'm selling this for 250 because the lace is already cut and I did buy it. I did dye it. Sorry. But yeah, I'm selling this for 250. The original price was like 2 was like 428 something around there. And again, this is from Uniwigs. Next wig. Okay. This wig right here is probably going to be the hardest wig that I have to let go. 
This is my kinky straight wig from Eva's Wigs. Um, it is a lace front. It's 22 inches long. It's 130% density. Um, and it's in a jet black color. Um, I It was requested jet black. Um, this wig was also somewhere between $450 to $500. And um, I'm selling this wig for $250 as well. Um, I'm selling this wig for $250 because um, there is a little slight hole in it. But I did patch it up. Yeah. But um, this hair is kinky straight. It does get straightened really well. When it's straightened all the way, it's more like a yakky texture. And yeah, this is a lace front throughout. Um, two and a half to three inches back and one inch on each side. There's combs in here, a comb in the back. Actually, there's no comb in the back, but adjustable straps. And I put in the elastic band. To make it tighter. Even though it is in the middle part. You can part it. You can um, switch the parting if you'd like. It's a lace front. This is the natural texture of the hair. Let me get you zoomed in right there. The little crimps. It's really pretty. Alright. This wig is also going to be very hard for me to get rid of. Okay, this is a 360 kinky straight, a kinky curly wig that I'm selling. Um, there's four inches of parting space at the top. Can you see that? goes from here all the way back to here, all the way back to here. And then there's two inches in the back. I did not bleach these knots. Um, for all of my wigs, I did not bleach the knots on them. There is also an elastic band for this wig as well inside. You know There's four inches of parting space right here. Two in the back. I paid for this with my own money. I paid two hundred dollars for this wig. Um, I'm selling it for one forty, just because I did wear it once and I cut off the lace. Um, this hair, if you do not like big poofy hair, I would not suggest buying this. But yeah, this hair is gorgeous. I'm selling this wig because I already have two other wigs that look like this. And this one was the one that I was going to give up, that I chose to give up, that I chose to sell. But this wig is absolutely gorgeous. I wore this wig once. And, yeah, it's in a kinky, curly texture. But to me, these curls look like a cross between kinky, curly, and deep, curly texture. That's what it's looking like to me. Um, the hairline was not plucked at all. Okay, that's a really good shot of the hair. The hairline was not plucked at all. Um, I did put powder in here to make it blend more with my skin. And yeah, those are all of the wigs that I'm selling. Um, the prices will also be down in the description boxes, along with the wig that I'm, uh, next to the wig that, that, um, that I was selling, okay? Again, this wig is going to be $140. Serious inquiries only, I'm going to leave my email in the description, um, 
It is prettyzippy97 at gmail.com. Um, serious inquiries only if you'd like to purchase this wig. So, um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. And, uh, catch you guys on another review. Bye.